Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis structure of PCL3. It's a chemical formula for phosphorus trichloride and it is made up of one phosphorus atom and three chlorine atoms. To understand its Lewis structure, we will first look at the total number of valence electrons for this molecule. So phosphorus has five valence electrons in its outer shell and chlorine atom has seven valence electrons in its outer shell. But as there are three of them here, we will multiply this number by three. So in total we have 26 valence electrons for PCL3. Now you know the uh, valence electrons for PCL3 will place phosphorus in the center and all chlorine atoms will be ar arranged around this atom like this. So for showing the bonds between phosphorus and chlorine we will place two electrons which represent a single bond formation. So we have used 6 out of 26 valence electrons and we are left with other 20 valence electrons that we have to arrange around all individual atoms. So we will start arranging electrons around uh, all chlorine atoms first. As you can see chlorine here only needs one valence electron to complete its octet. So we will make sure each chlorine atom here has eight valence electrons. So the octets of all the chlorine atoms are complete. We are left with two more valence electrons that we are going to add here on the phosphorus atom. And doing this the octet of phosphorus atom will also be complete. So in PCL3 the octets of all the atoms are complete as they have eight valence electrons in its outer shell. Although there is this one lone pair of electron in for on the phosphorus atom which does not participate in any bond formation. But this is the Lewis structure for PCL3. For more videos on Lewis structure, polarity, molecular geometry of the molecule, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.